I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Today we're visiting Luciana, who has a stable of classic cars, including her dream car, a 57 Chev. But we'll be photographing her with her 59 Cadillac, which she's owned for 11 years. Look at this. much for inviting us into your beautiful home today. You are a first generation Italian. Tell us a little bit about what it was like for your parents moving to Australia. Uh, well, it was um, fairly hard, but they did what they had to do. They just came out with the suitcases that they had. They left everything else that they had behind. And uh, they came out to, uh, Dad had three seasons to cut cane in North Queensland. Wow. Uh, they already had my brother, so he was two years old. So mm -hmm. um, it was a bit of, um, juggling with uh, mum getting a job as well, uh, working in Cairns at the, um, at the Cairns Hotel, Railway Hotel. But yeah, they, they managed and I think uh, they arrived in 1950 and by 1954 they had their own house in Bulimba. When you started primary school, were you aware that your family was different to probably 90% of the students? Yeah, I was aware that uh, I spoke another language but I thought I spoke uh, every language in the world. Did your parents embrace the beach culture of Australia? Yeah, oh, they loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Like in the summertime, we were there every weekend. And so by the late 70s, you were surfing semi-professionally. So I started in uh, surfing in 73. Mum didn't really like it, but I mean, she was the one who followed me around to all the contests. <laughs> <Yeah>. and... <laughs> as, as mums do. It was difficult for girls because uh, the boys had a bit of an attitude it had just come out of the 60s. But once you, they see you can surf, you're in there with the flock. Right. Yeah, a little bit different now. I think every, every, you know, everyone's used to the girls out in the surf, but in the 70s it was a little bit different. Would you like to partake in a little game that we call Fast and Furious? Okay, sure, that sounds interesting. I'm going to give you two options, and I want you to pick the option that you think is more conducive to a positive ageing process. Moderate alcohol consumption or bottoms up? Moderate alcohol consumption. <laughs> a challenge or a comfort? Challenge. 10 units of Botox or a puffteenth of attitude? Uh, what? <laughs> the attitude one. <laughs> Tree change or a sea change? Sea change. <laughs> That's an <a> obvious one. <laughs> and money or love? Uh, love. I didn't think about that, but... <laughs> And so, what sort of motor is in this? Ah, uh, this is an original Cadillac 390. Ah, uh, original? Yes. Right. Yeah, so matching numbers. You and I are going to get along great, Bam Bam. Do you want to just um, take a seat back up on... Up here? On there again, yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Have you ever been photographed with your car before? Um, yes. Yeah? yeah a few a, times. Quite a few times? Yeah. And had you been looking for this car for a while? Yeah, it was for my mum. Okay. So I, I had another Cadillac and I, um, she saw this one at the same place, so we bought it for her because uh, she liked it. Fantastic. <laughs> Often when I ask women what their dream car is, they um and ah and, and name the most unattainable car that there is out there. You've actually got your dream car, haven't you? I do. I do. I have my 57 Chevy. That's 
the one over behind us there. Mm -hmm. um, so how long have you had that one? I've had that one since uh, 2001. 2001. Yeah, and uh, I re revitalised my uh, interest in uh, that particular vehicle because that was our very first uh, family car. Was it a huge hit of nostalgia when you finally got yeah. inside that one? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. You must have a lot of great memories in it. It's just driving it, it's just driving it on the road, it's reliable. The, I've had, uh, I've driven down to Phillip Island for um, Custom Nationals mm -hmm. and everything went great, the car went great. We were talking about the the male culture as far as your, your surfing experience goes. Um, with the classic cars, you've entered into predominantly male territory again. How have you found the, the male culture with, with owning, being a female, owning a classic car? Um, the more I know about the car and its workings and actually fixing things, the better communication that I can have with other people, predominantly the guys, in the scene because I, I can talk on their level. Um, so that's probably the best icebreaker. Mm. Is so it's a, a bit go. so it's a bit like the surfing in that you you became a, a very competent surfer, so you're accepted and in the car world you're yeah. you're quite competent, you know what you're talking about under the bonnet right. and that's I think it's thing. more like I accept them. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you've got three classic cars, haven't you? Or more? Three that I know about. Yeah, yeah a few more. <laughs> a few more. It's ten or eleven. Wow. Mm, I've got a thirty-seven um, Chevrolet, forty-one Cadillac, fifty-two sedan delivery, like a panel van. Oh, okay. Fifty-seven sedan, fifty-nine El Camino, fifty-nine station wagon, fifty-nine sedan. Australian one. Oh, you gravitate towards the 59. It's a good year, it is. isn't it? It is. It's, the it's best a good year. year. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, 60. Uh, oh, heck, uh, 60 Al Camino. But I also recently bought a 48 um, Aero sedan. Goodness. Wow. Make me sweat. <laughs> sure You're it's making me jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Could you start it up again for us? Sure. <laughs> Holy shit! This is amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> Give me a boot. <laughs> That's amazing! Well, that was fun! <laughs> yeah! Thank you so much for having us here. It's been absolutely great. It's been awesome. Thank you very much. It's been for a beautiful out. afternoon. Got a lovely house here, and these cars are just amazing. We'll see you soon. All right then. Thank you very see much. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Awesome.